All good. 4 2 against our old mates, North West London. Um, it seemed like hard work at the end, but what, you, what, were, you, what were you feeling then yeah. at the end? Um, well, the conditions that you would think on paper suit us, you know, we've played North West London enough times to know, you know, they're a very technical team, you know. I, I would say they're probably the most technical team in the in the league that I've seen so far, you know. As I said, we've got a long history against them, um, so it's a good sort of like mini rivalry. And sort of like the start of the game, they adjusted to the conditions obviously much better than we did, I think. Um, so it took us a while to sort of get into it. But we always feel that there are parts of the game that we can get back into it against Northwest. They'd never sort of be consistent in terms of with their press, in terms of how they play for 90 minutes. So really, again, it's a case of right biding our time, being patient and knowing where we can hit them. And I think obviously scoring just before half time was a big, big factor for us, I think. Um, but it, it just changes the, the dynamics, you know, when you're going in, you're confident, you're going in with a bit of a buzz, you know, sort of the second half, we can come into it. So, um, all in all, a very good performance because, look, the conditions, as I said, it can go, it can go either way. Um, and to, to put a shift shows the maturity in the team. Because um, the previous teams, it might have wilted or we might not have the sort of like the graft, really. Because that's what today was, really, was about graft and then having the quality at the end of it. So, yeah, so we're, we're happy and it's about like, fifth win in the bounce. So, confidence is flying for the squad and, you know, we'll just go on to the next one. I mean, that's an interesting bit today is that we've had a consistent lineup for so many weeks and today you obviously, I mean, I don't even want to assume that you were forced to make some reshuffles, but you've got a, a, a very unrecognisable bat four yeah. and lots of, you know, changes elsewhere. And, and it, but it, 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 there was a different feel to the game, was it? Was that just because of unavailability? But it's yeah, worked, you know, yeah. Been, I mean, in an ideal scenario, if you can, that's why it's such a rarity for us to play sort of three, four games with the same sort of squad. Um, you know, the players you know, of our lives, you know, unfortunately, you know, we <laughs> committed to captain, uh, you know. So so it's going to happen. And what we kept on saying, because it's very difficult for players outside the squad with the team winning to sort of like see the, the end of it when, oh, I'm going to get in potentially. So we just kept them in training. I said, look, to the guys, look, at any given moment, you're going to be called in. We've got four games within the sort of space of two weeks. There's no way the same team can play. Even if they were available, fatigue, you've got to rotate it. Otherwise, they'll suffer burnout. And as and when we had sort of three dropouts over the course of the last couple of days, mm. you know, and the players have stepped in. Um, you know, and that shows the attitude of the squad and the camaraderie as well. Um, mm. You know, that the players can come in and not feel any type of way. Just want to come in, impress and try and keep their spot. Like, for instance, Lewis and Sully have the last couple of games, you know, they've come in um, and then they were back in today. I mean, that's what we try and do. We try and sort of incentivise players. You know, if you come in, play well, there's a good chance, you know, you're going to be in. Don't get me wrong, it's not always going to be the case. Um, for tactical reasons and stuff, you know, we may have to obviously go with something else, but we try and have that sort of equal so players sort of know that's what we're driving to. And that's what I think keeps their players driven, especially in training. So, I mean, on the back four, I mean, I wanted to... You know, you pick anyone out, but it was Junior. You seem to love it in the middle. Yeah, I think he could get more sort of tight and sort of get into the, the aggressive side of the oh, game. Oh, mate, you know? Junior, I didn't mean to expose you to this, but that, I mean, <laughs> I thought he was great. But yeah, yeah he, <laughs> loved it. he loved it, his jaw. And Junior's one of our, so regardless of age, he's one of our leaders in the team, you know. Oh, right. And, you know, he, he's so versatile and sometimes on song, you know, he will tell you he makes a lot of polls but doesn't really get a lot of the votes. Ask the I fans, think one of, our fans are idiots. Yeah, I mean, like, well, I think, that, I, mean, it's, I think it's a PR thing, you know, you've got to go around and shake a few more hands, you know, and I think that, it does make a big difference. Um, but, yeah, totally outstanding today you know led the black line you know Dino again coming in been out of it for a while so you know and he, he just never lets us down Bailey again yeah. just dropping to right back where he's been so doing so well you know and that's the versatility of the squad you know when we train we try and move players into different positions for this sort of scenario mm. and in terms of when we pick the squad as well if you know you're versatile you can play numerous positions you've got a better chance of making it because it just gives us more options off the bench. Yeah. Is it, do you think, something that I noticed as well, there was a, there was a fluidity today that I think, personally, I think that like, we've been striving for, not quite hitting. The first goal, the build up oh. through Taylan, like, and Fred, like, lovely, lovely, sweet little build up. Yeah. With a few moments like that, though, is that, uh, do you feel like that's been coming, or yeah. do you think it's, there's something about playing? I mean, it's not like the pitch is a goal in the room, so. No, I think that's credit to sort of Rudy and, and uh, the coaches of whatever we're putting on, because I think when we were going through that sort of drought of draws, we always felt like we'd need that final end, that chemistry between the sort of front three, front four wasn't there. So we've done a lot of work, especially the last two, three weeks, in trying to blend that chemistry. And, you know, as you said, with 
time, you know, Tay's come in, he's new, so it's about knowing how he plays, you know, integrating him with the rest of the players, Noah coming back to form, you know, Fred um, getting more fitter. So I think it all plays into it, and, and what you like is that when you've got players like MK and Sully, they're coming on and making a difference every game, um, you know, and when you've got that sort of to, um, option to choose from, Lewis as well, you know, we're going to be flying, so I don't think, if the front three are not working, we've got another three that can come in, and that's strength in depth. I, I, I am enjoying the sort of like the, the the last fifteen minutes of absolutely running people ragged recently. It's been nice. What um what do you take? Is it, it's got to be learnings every time, right? So what is the thing you learned from today? Um, I, I, again, it's, it's it's what our squad's about really. I think we've shown today again if the conditions are not great, you know, and we can't necessarily play the football that we want to, you know, necessarily like front and back. We can play just necessarily in a direct style because our patterns of play really what we try and do be it conducive to any conditions. So we can use it throughout the season, and that's what we we worked hard on during pre season. Um, and just again, it's, it's attitude. At three two, it could have easily gone the other way. You know, I mean, we can see another goal. Three three, you know, heads gone. I heard some alpha. fans really sort of like getting very stressed. Um, <laughs> yeah, because you know they're a good team, so all it takes <laughs> is the deflection is the right way. You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's three three, but again, we kept our heads, kept our shape, uh, and then we punished them with the fourth, and that is well deserved victory, really, because the. Know, across the game and, and like I said I think they deserved it and, and it was good to see them at the back really um, at, the, at the end of the game you know with the huddle it's very important you know everyone feels part of it regardless of what part they play today you know and we go into the next one mm. which is maybe Barking Side Barking Side mm, mm. well yeah is it going to happen well we assumed that it's all been sorted oh, uh, okay. you know money's in the meter and it's all, all good to go <laughs> so um, yeah so it's a couple of days rest um, for the players and then, yeah, we'll go again. Like, the confidence is high, and you know, we've not set any sort of ceiling or boundaries towards sort of <laughs> or points target, you know, that for this season, really. Initially, when you're going up to a new season, it's just to consolidate, isn't mm. it? Really, but the four that we're in, you know, we're just we're just gonna join third, mate. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're just gonna do, just tick them off, really. Um, you know, Wark inside, Wormley, we've got a few good big games come as well, Harlow Town, so mm. um. The confidence I said with the players are in, you know, we're, we're willing to take anyone on, you know, um, and you know, we'll see where we are. Lovely stuff. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Congratulations.